But this case between the governor and, um, and his uh, predecessor is not new, especially when it regards trying to impeach a few, small number, a large majority and all that. It's not the first time this has happened. It also has a lot of history. Let's take you back in time to 1999. Chief Jim Wobodo, who was a one-time civilian governor of the old Anambra state, he, you know, supported Dr. Chimaroke Namani to run for governorship in the year 1999. And when that happened, there was a falling out just a year later in the year 2000. By that time, Jim Wobodo was unhappy with Chimaroke Namani. And there was a plot to impeach Chimaroke, who has just entered governorship one year. This became an issue. The next focus is just the same thing that happened in River State. The Enugu State House of Assembly was divided. 16 members were loyal to Jim Wobodo. Five or four members or six members were loyal to Chimaroke Namani. Now, 16 pro Wobodo lawmakers passed an impeachment petition and resolution against Namani. Six pro Namani lawmakers suspended the 16. This is the same thing happening in River State that um, the five lawmakers and the speaker had declared the 27 seats vacant. This happened in the year 1999-2000 in Enugu State between Chimaroke Namani and Jim Wobodo. The, those in support of Jim Wobodo passed uh, an impeachment resolution on the governor, Chimaroke Namani. Those supporting Chimaroke Namani suspended the 16, and then the other members of Jim Wobodo's 16 were flying around Nigeria, you know, between Enugu and uh, Abuja on charter flight with mobile policemen, you know, to make sure that the impeachment of Namani was solidified. So they passed their resolution to the Enugu State Chief Judge, who ignored their resolution and recognized the six members of the Namani House of Assembly. Well, this was how the plot to impeach Chimaroke Namani fell through. And Namani, of course, went on to contest again in 2003 and, of course, completed his eight years in 2007. Will this repeat itself in River State? Now we have five lawmakers. Will INEC conduct elections again to fill up the 27 seats? Or are we going to see what happens in Nigeria where the law is tossed aside and things go on as normal? Another side of this story, which I would say in closing, someone said on social media, are you sure this is not a grand plan in the political movie between Ye Somweke and his successor that they are secretly working together to make everything look as if there's a problem so that Ye Somweke can quickly and easily move into the APC and then finally... River State will become an APC state. There are many people who probably would think that way. So they look as if there's a division in the state and then the APC will take over. Don't forget that the APC itself won in the presidential elections in River State. APC itself lost in the governorship election in River State. How that worked, we're still at a loss. But we're watching to see how things go. What will be the end of this discussion? Does River State look attractive to the APC national? Yes. Have they crossed all their T's and dotted all their I's? I think no. I think this 27 lawmakers, the campaign for defecting was very shabby. And I think like, I, like uh, uh, APC chieftain said, it even contravened the law in APC. So we are going to see a lot of court cases in the near future if these men still stay or these men and women still stay in the APC going forward.